Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Extending WP GraphQL. In the previous episodes, we learned about how to create an authenticated mutation. And then in this video, we are going to continue further uh, with the previous tutorial and we are going to write the logic to save the product ID into the user meta so that we can add the product ID to the wish list. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to check first of all that the product ID is not empty. All right. So I'm going to say if product ID is not empty or if it is empty, then give a response with an error. So let me just copy this whole thing. So error will be please enter a valid product id okay perfect and i'm going to return the response so that it doesn't go any further all right now the next thing we're going to do is we will create a function and we will call it as let's say let me just minimize this one Let's create a function. We'll name it as save products, products to wish list. Reason why I'm creating a separate function and not doing everything in this one because it's anyways getting pretty long, right? And I don't want to make this code dirty by just shoving everything inside of it. So that's why I'm creating a separate function uh, for this functionality. Okay. So this is going to accept um, a product ID. So product ID. And that's going to be an integer. And then it's going to also take user ID. So user ID. And then it's going to take the response. So the previous response that we have added and it's just going to uh, you know, add the new information inside of it. So first thing we're going to do is we'll check if the product product ID is valid. Okay, so how do we do that? We check if empty. So what we're going to do is we'll say product equals WC get product. And remember that we have already done the checking of whether the WooCommerce class exists on top or not. So we don't have to do that again. So if the code has reached this point, that means that the WooCommerce plugin is already active. Okay. So product ID. So this is going to give us the product. This is the WooCommerce function. And then you're going to check if empty product. So in case if the product is empty then just return an error. So like we have done it here. So we are pretty smart people. We're just going to copy the code from here and reuse it so that uh, we don't have to write it again. So error and this will say product does not exist. Okay. So now this is going to uh, return the response, which means not going to code is not going to go further any further because uh, we are already testing that the product is not available. It's, the ID is not correct. Okay, next thing is get saved products of the current user. So I'm going to say saved products equals this is going to be an array. Okay. And it's going to be get get user meta you're going to say get user meta and then user ID and then the key name in which we're going to store that information will be wish list saved products. Okay, and we're going to pass true. 
for a single and then in the response we're going to say wishlist product IDs equals add a filter save product what array filter is going to do is if you directly pass the array inside of it this is going to uh, make sure that it re it removes any of the uh, empty elements in case if there's an empty string in the array is going to remove that and just filter out that and just give us the ones which are valid and not empty okay so we have got response wishlist products ids so we've got that there and then Next thing we're going to do is we'll check if the product already exists. Now before we talk about this one, you must be wondering why did I, uh, you know, set the wishlist product IDs to save product before even adding a new one. The reason for this is because if any of the code, uh, you know, returns an error, at least we will get to know what is what are the product IDs that were saved inside of the product. So let's say that if the product already exists, we're not going to be adding that product into uh, the wishlist save products, uh, but we will still need to know uh, what are the product IDs that are available for the user inside of the wishlist product IDs, okay? So if in array product ID uh, save product, saved product true so strict check i'm just going to check the type as well and then if otherwise so we'll do an l statement here otherwise saved product push the product id inside of it okay so what this is going to do is if the product does not already exist this is this is same as array push uh which is like so this is equivalent to array Push. I'm sure you guys already know about it, but I'll just let you know so that there's no confusion. So this is going to pass this inside of this. So it's going to take the product ID and it's going to push it inside of the save products array. Okay. Same as that. And so that's going to do our job in case if the product doesn't already exist. But if it does exist, we're also going to check if array search search product id save products true okay uh, then response error again i will copy paste because i'm lazy <laughs> okay error and this will be product already exists already exists all right and i'm just going to return the response return response okay perfect now <clears throat> once we let's say we saved it so this is going to return response in, and the code is not going to go any further but if it is saved inside of the um but if it is but if it doesn't already exist, then we are pushing it inside of the save product. The next thing we need to do is we need to update our user meta with this new array that contains the new product ID, right? Which is basically containing the existing ones and the new one because we have pushed that item in the array. So we know that there's already a function in WordPress, uh, which is update user meta. So we're just going to use that. So save product to current user. And this is going to be, and this is going to be save product to user equals update user meta. That's going to take the user ID because which user you want to update it to against which user, and then the name of the meta key, which is this one. And then also the array where you want to update the new, basically the new item, uh, the updated item. So this is the one. So this is going to give us the save product. Okay. 
and then this update user meta as you can see that it returns a boolean uh, which is the meta id if the key doesn't exist and true on the successful update which means it's going to return a boolean over here okay so we can say if not which means it's going to return false right because it's saying that it's going to return false on failure correct so i'm going to say if this is false then again lazy people copy paste <laughs> all right error and this time is going to say something went wrong in adding the product to the wish list okay perfect and it's going to return the response but if that's not the case finally finally okay we are into a situation to return the all of the uh, correct response but just before we get to that uh, we also want to know that uh, what's the final uh, save products okay and we can get that using the get user meta so we can say save products equals this okay and then all i have to do now is just say response added equals true okay copy it a couple of times and then we also want the wishlist product id i'm gonna paste that i'm gonna need the product id so this will be equal to the product id that is being passed which is this one and then wishlist product ids will actually be the save products so save products so i'm gonna say array filter save products all right and then finally i'll just return the response so uh all i have to do now is just call this function here say this save product wish list this will be equal to response i can directly return it from here i don't need to write it twice i can say return and then this save product to wish list it's going to need the product id so i already have the product id from here so i can pass that inside the input um, then it's going to need the user id and we know that we do already have that and then finally it's going to take the response we have that brilliant so that's what we're going to do so this function is going to return a bunch of errors in case if it fails at some point uh, but if it doesn't then finally it's going to give us everything that we need which is added product id and wishlist product ids and that's what we need as output fields added product id wishlist product id and if there are any errors okay so we're good now we're going to try it from postman so i'm going to say send we have some error inside of uh, graphql it's some internal server error so what i'm going to do is just check the graphql debug log it's not active so we're going to activate that so i'm going to go to the graphql settings and then i'm going to click on whether graphql requests should execute debug mode please make sure that it, you don't turn this on in production mode because otherwise your queries are going to be slow and uh, i'll go back over here hit send again and it says that invalid jwt uh so i just need to generate fresh okay i've got that add to wish list authorization better token Okay, I'm gonna set authorization better. And let's hit it again. Congratulations, it says product already exists. So let's try a different one. Bring this up a little bit. Let's try a different product ID. So I'm gonna go over here, say 33. Hit send. Congratulations, you can see that added equals true. And you can see that now there are three items in the array because some of them were added by us for the same user in the previous episodes. 
All right. And if you hit it again, I'm sure it'll say, sorry, we can't go ahead because the product already exists. And that's what it does. Awesome. So congratulations. Uh, we have successfully uh, added our resolver functionality where we are adding the product IDs to that particular user's meta, which is wishlist save products. And we also handling the errors as well. Okay. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And um, do start my repository to support my work. My repository name is Headless CMS. And thanks to all the 27 people who have started my repository. So please do star as well. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. Thanks to 796 people. And please give me an opportunity to thank you as well. <laughs> All right. And uh, please do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. All right. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.